I want to talk about a circuit. Now let me ask you, what makes up a circuit? What do we need for a circuit? For a circuit, we're going to need a power supply. There's your power supply. Then we need a conductor. Your wire, in other words. And then we're going to need a switch. And from there, we're going to need the load. So power is going to come in here, travel through here, through this wire. The switch is going to open and close to, so that we can have flow or not have flow. Then we're going to go to the load. The load is what's going to do the work. It's going to convert the electrical energy into another form of energy. And then from there, it goes up to wherever it came from. So if it came from a transformer, it's going to go back to the transformer. If it came from a panel, it's going to go back to the panel. So we need the four things, power supply, conductor, switch, and a load, and then it needs to go back to where it came from. Now, some students, they always want to argue the point, so we need to have a fuse, got to have a fuse. Well, you know, you really don't need a fuse. Why? Well, because by code, by code, in other words, the rules, the laws, the electrical laws that they have written for us to follow, it says that if you have a circuit or if you have something that is going to be, let's say, for example, 50 volts or lower, you don't need a fuse. You don't need a fuse in there. Why? Well, because if we're using, let's say, for example, 24 volts for your control voltage, have you ever been shocked by 24 volts? Have you ever known anyone to be shocked by 24 volts? Sometimes you grab it and you feel a little tingle. Well, 24 volts is not going to hurt you. Why? Because by code, you've got to have that much voltage to penetrate your skin. It's all about safety. It's all about safety. So you really don't need a fuse if it's 24 volts. But you've got to have power supply, conductor, switch, and a load. I've had other students that say, well, you don't need a switch. Okay, well, if you don't have a switch, how are you going to turn this load on and off? How many loads do you know that stay on all the time? At home, you think of a lamp. Even if you don't have a switch, what do you do? You plug it into the wall or unplug it. You became the switch because we need to turn that load on and off. The load is what's going to convert electrical energy into another form of energy. For example, if I was to do this, now this is a light. So by opening or closing this, we can turn this light on and off. If you don't have a conductor, how are the electrons going to get to the load? They can't. If you don't have a power supply, how is this going to work? It can't. So you have to have the four things, power supply, conductor, switch, and a load. And yes, if it's above 50 volts, then yes, you would need a fuse. You would need some way of protecting the people that are there.